how to implement the most effective strategies in automated trading, uh, how to analyze the price movements uh, of your favorite assets, and basically what are the tools that you can use for your uh, decision making, and also how can you uh, effectively diversify your trading strategies, because in crypto, the best way to achieve diversification is through having um, is by having different strategies deployed simultaneously. So let's say you have a thousand dollars, and this thousand dollars must be split. A portion goes to automated trading because automated trading has its own benefits, pros and cons. And another portion goes to smart trading, which uh, is about manual trade mode where let's say you can enter the market with limit buy order you can have multiple take profits so you are the one who decides at which price level or profit range to exit the market and and that way you can have some pre-estimates of your potential return as well as the potential risk you take for this trade for this particular trade so that's what i call a smart trade which is a different strategy from automated trading and the first strategy is basically uh holding okay you have something in your portfolio let's say in my case i hold a vu token and uh, if, if you can find some ways of not just holding it but getting more basically accumulating more of the vu token like for example on binance you can have uh, locked DeFi staking and some other things you can use as a as a kind of a semi-passive strategy just to accumulate more coins in your hodl portfolio but in general hodl strategy is the most rewarding one because it requires patience time and eventually it brings you the biggest uh, return on investment eventually okay but that's the hardest one to be honest well it might seem like the simplest one but in reality it's not it's it's basically the opposite it's the hardest one because you must be patient enough to wait until the moment when you can capitalize on these huge returns you can have from hodl strategy so let's go back to my bots and i think if i open bnb chart I have this thing prepared for you in advance. Yes, usually that's the thing I use. So, as of the way, like how to stay profitable most of the time, even when the market is falling. So there are two things required. The first one is diversification by strategies, automation, smart trade and hodl. And the second thing is market timing. So you need to monitor your strategies. And whenever the market conditions are changing, you need to flip some strategies that you have. So for example, I have some strategies here right now. And notice that I have as bot strategies. So for those of you who don't know, uh, as bot is the ultimate solution on Bitscap. If you want to achieve the highest return on a sideways market which moves like that or if the market is falling but you anticipate the bounce off like this this is when the asbot strategy is the best one because of its investment distribution logic okay um, the classic bot and i have now three strategies for the classic bot that's one inch to usdt uni and the uh, synthetics protocol trading to usdt so for these three coins i have classic bot because i know that the classic bot is the ultimate solution for a rising market exactly what you see now on the snx for example you can see that the market is rising okay so classic will bring you the most returns and you don't have to blindly trust me you can always back test different strategies and compare them with each other to see whether or not that's true so for snx unit and one inch i have the classic board because i feel that the value of these coins is undervalued and that they have the potential to go higher 
okay that's based on my fundamental research and and some due diligence that i conducted as of the the rest six strategies i have and you can see that some of them been present for like three months already it's for example for bitcoin a uh, quick uh, recap um, i opened this strategy back then the price of bitcoin was falling and you can see all these circles green and red circles that's the bot activity so i managed to capture this whole movement and this is where my s bot played out well and that's the result so <clears throat> that was the case to basically buy the dip so using the s bot strategies to buy the dip is like the best solution you can have on beats gap as of today but if you look at the bitcoin right now um and actually i i should have done it before but i decided to leave it like that just so that i could show you the mistake you should avoid so you see the price was do moving sideways during this prolonged period of the last three months but eventually it broke the upper limit and and now it makes sense to flip this strategy to the classic bot because we know that the classic bot brings you more returns on the rising market and the market has pretty much proven to us that it's like the bullish momentum is solid enough and that's why the price is still staying above the 41k which is a good sign of a bullishness okay so in terms of risk to return um, narrative it really makes sense to to close this strategy for me and instead launch it with new configuration but on the classic board because this would bring me more return uh, if the price continues the rally so that's the thing but I left it like this just for the sole purpose of showing you what is the <clears throat> thing you can do when you see the market uh changing the momentum so it was sideways it broke the upper limit the the resistance line it stayed above this resistance for quite a long time which is kind of a confident and con it brings enough confidence that uh the bullishness is solid so you can flip the strategy to the classic bot okay so that's the logic the same would be applied to uh okay not for zero x yet but maybe for litecoin and not even for for the litecoin i would say but yeah well the the best example would be bitcoin the one that i should uh, flip to the classic mode okay so <clears throat> as you can see now you have this body column which is a fluctuating parameter because uh, before that you could only see the uh, initial investment to each strategy but right now it shows me the value of this whole uh, position so it takes into account the value of current funds of like the base currency that i have right now in this strategy so that's the amount of one inches that the bot has purchased and the amount of usdt in this strategy which is the uh, pending orders to be used to buy more inches in case if the price of one inch falls okay so the value of this whole portfolio here is exactly 787 dollars okay so it's below the value with which i started this story it was at around 800 when i launched it so i'm in 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 loss here right now okay but thanks to the bot it still can make me money on this falling market let's let's switch to one inch so you see it's kind of falling even though there were some minor swings higher on which the bot managed to capitalize and that's why you can see these red circles that represent sell orders executed but in general it the price is falling and that's why the water is depreciating but as the bot still make some money it pretty much offsets the negative value change of this falling market 
I mean, if not the bot, then the investment change would be not m minus 1.54, but it, it, I guess it would be around minus 1.8 or something. So the loss would be bigger. But thanks to the bot, it offsets this mm, <clears throat> loss that I am very now. So that's that's uh, pretty much the logic you use. Some, you just need to monitor the activity of your bots. Uh, and whenever the market conditions are changing, you need to consider flipping your strategy to a better one, which in my case is from as bot to classic bot for the rising market. Okay. Uh, and of course, the, the opposite logic is that if you see the market starts to fall, and you feel like it's going to reach the support line pretty much soon, and it's going to stay in this area for quite a while, it's going to trade in the sideways market, then you can close your classic bot, and you can switch to the as bot instead, because we know that with the as bot, you can make more money on the sideways market, you can accumulate more of the base currency, and that way, when the price uh, reverts back again, and starts, it will start to rally back, this is when you will capitalize a lot. So that's one part of the story, automation. In my case, that's 50% of allocation. Let's say your total balance is $1,000. So in my case, 50% goes to automation. So all the strategies you see here, it's more or less around 50% of my balance on this account. Um, but as of now, it's actually lower because I haven't made some changes for quite a while. Because now I think I have more in HODL. Like you see, Ethereum HODL, Bitcoin HODL, BNB 0x, Quantum. Also, I have Solana right now, but it's uh, locked in DeFi staking. It brings me around 16% annually, something. Yeah, which is good for your HODL strategy accumulation. And also you can see that the price of Solana has uh, skyrocketed a lot. So, well, basically this whole DeFi locked staking that I have, it uh, plays well for me. So, yeah, 50% approximately to automation. Why 50%? It's pretty much the biggest allocation. Because in automated mode, everything is under control of the bot. Okay, you know that each single day, it's gonna bring you money regardless of the market direction whether the price is falling moving sideways or rising the board will find this um, micro opportunities on this price swings to always buy low and sell high later so that's the logic of the bot and that's why um, in my case, there's 50% of the allocation because I mostly care about the realized return. Okay, so the bot profit you see here is your realized return. That's something which goes directly to your balance. Okay, and that's the only thing we care about when it comes to trading and, well, investing pretty much. We want to have some money accumulated on our balance so that's why realized return is the thing i'm looking for and that's the uh it's it's achievable with automated bots because they make you money on a daily basis of course the major benchmark sorry metric here is the change because no matter if your bot made one percent ten percent of the return if your change is negative then the the whole investment is in the negative zone it's it's in a loss pretty much but um in the mid-term perspective and sometimes even in the short-term perspective still uh using automated bots is, is is justified and it's an optimal solution especially for those of you who don't want to spend hours daily in front of your monitor scanning the market looking for best entry prices and exit prices you just have your bot it buys low sells high makes you money and for example you see one inch here if not the bot then my loss would be bigger so that's the biggest advantage of automated bots that they make you money daily and this money pretty much offsets 
the negative value change in case of the falling market okay so that's the thing um, I think I saw some comments on the YouTube saying that okay your bot made me 20% okay so your bot made you 20% but if you would have uh, hold this coin instead you would have more money which is true but the logic here is that you only make money when you realize the return when you close the trade when you sell it right so comparing unrealized return in hodl strategies with realized returns in bot strategies is a different story you just can't compare it but even though we still have this metric here just for you to kind of uh, have some estimates whether or not uh, your strategy with automated bots is beneficial or not so for example for dot usdt here with if if i just had 25 on my balance as uh, of the beginning of this trade like as when i launched it if I would have this on my balance the whole time, I would make $237. But uh, because I allocated these funds to my bot, that's why uh, due to the fluctuations and everything, my profit is only 100 USDT. So yeah, one can say that HODL would bring you more returns because that's $200 compared with $100 made by the bot. And that's true, but it's only true if you realize these returns, if you sell it at th this exact price, that's like, and you never know this highest price, okay? You can predict the direction of the market, but you can never predict the exact price at which, let's say, BNB is gonna trade tomorrow. Maybe here, maybe here before it falls, okay? Who knows, right? You can just anticipate. And that's why automated uh, automated bots, even though sometimes compared with the HODL strategy, they bring you less returns. But still, they are very efficient in a way that these returns are realized. And uh, that's the only thing we care about in trading. Okay. So let's check what else we have here. Um, apart from automated strategies. Uh, where is the I think we just I think I just accidentally deleted all this thing we had on the chart let's go back real quick to it uh, nah I think I lost it so let's make a new one so total balance 100% automation my ratio is 50 percent what are the pros so the pros is that it's fully automated daily returns and it can offset uh, market plunge that's the biggest advantage of automation okay the second one is smart trading in my case, that's usually around 20%, uh, well, according to my recent estimates. So in smart trading, you go here, trading section, and you can use this witty, clever, and sometimes very gripping tools like limit buy, limit sell, using multiple take profits and stop loss, because by plotting multiple take profits, that way you diversify the risk you increase the chances that the, the bot will sorry that the, this strategy will bring you money because let's say you buy one inch right now at, at the current price of 2.88 and you set only one take profit here at the price of four dollars so the price range is around what 42 percent okay yeah 43 percent so you need to wait for the price to rise by 43 percent until this uh, strategy executes a sell order basically your take profit and that's a high risk because 
the chances of the price skyrocketing to this price level in terms of risk to return ratio is a not not is it's i mean chances are kind of void so instead of that it really makes sense to split the take profit by multiple orders and that way step by step you exit the market and you realize these returns okay so for example 17 percent of the growth well maybe you can sell 30 percent of your entire position here from the risk to return uh, standpoint it really makes sense that way you secure your returns but you don't sell everything you still have 70 percent of your entire position so let's say it rises by another 12 percent so here again maybe you can sell uh, this time 40 percent so you you let you're left with what 30 percent until the next target so the next target is here nine percent so you're left with 30 percent so that's the split you can have and thanks to the um layout we've built and old calculations that we have built in here you can pre-estimate this return so for example i buy at this price i buy 25 percent and that's exactly 808 uh, sorry 818 dollars okay the first one was where 3.38 3.38 let's say 3.38 that's exactly 17 percent okay and let's sell 30 percent as we have here on the chart another like the second take profit is here 3.79 let's set it and the last one is at 4.143 okay so three take profit levels and you can see exactly the money you can make that's 163 dollars but it's not enough now we need to talk about the stop loss so you look at the chart and depending on your um, approach depending on your knowledge and skills you will set your stop loss according to your logic so in in my case uh, well usually I look into the price action and also use this tool as the let's let's switch to Bitcoin um, and let's use this one that I use that's the volume profile so you usually I look into support and resistance lines okay and usually you will see that the biggest volume traded exactly corresponds to these levels of support and resistance lines so in my case I would set my stop loss below a certain key support level so that's one inch to USDT unfortunately as of now there is no fixed volume profile tool here on beats cap but it will be implemented but as of now you can use it for free here so let's go back to one inch yeah it was one inch not I not not injective protocol but it was one inch to use the T yeah so let's use the volume profile here I think I'm gonna use mm -hmm. it's four hours four hours yeah but let's let's check over here okay so it kind of tells me that the support line uh, is around this area boom and also the next one is around this price level so which pretty much exactly corresponds to this volume profile biggest one over here and biggest one over here okay so it's kind of a testing the support that's the local support line and also testing these moving averages okay so um, if you are sh a short-term trader then in and, and and you feel like you don't want to hold on to this trade for a long time then most likely you will set your stop loss around this area which is below the uh, current support line okay so that way you can see your potential loss estimate which is fifty dollars so if you enter this trade with this smart trade mode with this configuration uh, you risk fifty dollars 
for the reward of $163. Okay, so in that case, your risk to your return to risk ratio is around three. So the coefficient is around three. If you if you divide the potential profit by the risk you set, then for each dollar that you risk, you make three dollars. And that's a justified configuration. Whenever your potential return is by, well, in my case, by at least two times bigger than the risk, or even more, then this is the time for you to enter the market. If you look at the market and you are confused and you see that you no way you can afford having stop loss that close to your uh, entry price, which is like, in my case, that's 6%, okay? But instead, according to your parameters, you would set your stop loss, let's say, around here. Let's say you trade not based on the uh, support and resistance lines, but you trade based on just a, a kind of a percentage watermark. Let's say your stop loss is always 10%, okay? So if you see that this is not a justified risk to your potential return, then you should rather avoid this trade and look for another one. Well, in my case, even having this stop loss by 10% lower of my entry price still justified because I risk I risk um, $81 for the reward of 163 okay? That's why it's always tricky about smart trade mode and that's why I only allocate around 20% here uh, because of the things you always need to take into account you need to take into account the stop loss because of that depends your risk to return ratio risk return ratio return ratio yeah and you always need to monitor the market you sometimes you can you, you need to maybe uh kind of intervene intervene into the trade like by manually selling some volume and instead of sticking with your multiple take profits sometimes you can uh, change your take profits depending on market conditions so lots of things to be taken into account every single day because that's like what you would expect from the smart trade mode because that's the manual trade mode you do th all these things manually and that's why you monitor it on your own. So automation here is kind of a 50-50 split. 50 by manual mode and 50 uh, automation. By manual I mean your, uh, your projections and your idea of the market and your anticipations and everything which eventually affect uh, the position of your take profits uh, but these take profits in any case they will be automatically executed of course there are other tools you can use like the stop limit uh, order which is like you can enter the market when the certain condition is met so for example you want to buy like you look at the price of one inch now and you feel like well I'm not buying this story yet. It looks like it might fall back to this level, for example. So, instead of that, you think like, okay, once the price of one inch breaks the previous higher high, which was around here, $4, boom, that is the time when you will consider entering the market, okay? So that way you can set your stop limit by order for 0.1, for example, and the same for the limit. So the stop price is exactly this um, known as the conditional price. So as soon as the price reaches $4.1, it will place a limit by order at the price of 4.1. Well, you can place it 4.05 or something. Okay. Um, so that way, it will plot this order on the chart and once the price reaches it it will trigger it and you will buy this amount of one inch and it will be added to your portfolio so I'm telling you in smart trade mode there are different ways of how you can use all these um, market order tools and 
uh, execute your strategies accordingly. That's why I tend to allocate only 20% because of the time you need to spend on that and the risk you must take. Because not every single day you can find these perfect uh, entry prices and exit prices. Okay, Sometimes entering the market is not justified in terms of risk to return ratio. So that's why in my case 50% goes to automation. And the third one is a simple hodl. All right, so nothing here special about 30%. You just buy coin you believe in, in a long-term perspective, like, for example, Solana, uh, Quantum in my case as well. What else? Wool Trade, uh, SNX, like, like the synthetics protocol. What else? Um, well, you can have your own portfolio, okay? We, we, we will not talk about uh, coins, okay? <laughs> That's, that's not uh, financial advice or whatsoever. It's just my portfolio. I'm, I'm fully transparent with you guys here. That's my coins that I have on my portfolio. That's why I'm, I'm sharing it with you, but I'm not telling you to buy it or sell it, whatever. So the logic is simple. You have these coins you believe in, in long-term perspective. You did your own due diligence on them and you just hold all these coins. The ultimate hodl solution is to have some uh, semi uh, semi passive strategies involved so for example on binance you have um, defi locked staking and uh, that way you stake your coins like for example right now i have uh, solana staked at around 60% uh, apy so that way you have you still hold all your solana coins but it also brings you more solana coins just because you participate in staking and of course there are some pros and cons of this defi lock staking and there is some kind of risk involved in that but in general these are like uh, solid proof strategies that have been working for quite a long time um but in terms of diversification for your hodl strategies that's that makes sense so instead of just holding coins i mean you can utilize them in some strategies okay um like you can be a, a kind of a, a validator in the delegation process of staking for example on quantum like on quantum you can even stake your coins off chain like offline okay that's the thing about quantum um, and you can find some different options on other chains as well which can be beneficial for you in terms of risk to return ratio I mean lots of things to explore I mean that's a huge market and you can come up with many strategies but in my opinion that's the ultimate strategy 50% automation 20% smart trading and 30% hodl and that way this is the ultimate answer to you how to stay profitable in the market that's by utilizing this strategy pretty much because automation brings you money on a daily basis even if the price of your coin is falling then this bot profit it offsets this negative value change in smart trading you are the the god of how you use your money and uh, what's the profit you can make and what's the risk you take it's everything under your control so here you can make big money okay and of course in hodl if you've been holding for example solana or other coins uh, like like ethereum well if you've been holding them for the last like seven months no actually more i would say yeah then uh, y you are now in, in a big return so for example this roi positive roi it can offset the 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 the, the negative roi you might have in smart trading let's say you are very bad at smart trading you are very bad at manual trading so at least you have holo strategy and automated strategy that will offset this negative roi that you got from smart trading so that's the thing about the diversification is that one strategy can offset the negative value of other strategies but the ultimate goal is to make sure that all of these three strategies in overall bring you money okay and in order for you to do that 
you just need to learn about the market timing you need to be patient and you need to practice and in order to practice we have this tool for you which is basically a demo trade mode so you can switch to demo and you can uh, play with different strategies for free because you have virtual money here you see half a million dollars that's a lot so you can play with different strategies blah 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 and see which one brings you the most until you come up with your golden strategy the same way you can do on smart trading you have this demo mode here as well and you can play with this virtual money until the moment you realize that you're good enough at trading that's in the, in the midterm perspective like let's say you've been practicing two three months usually it's, that's that's pretty much enough for you to stress test your strategies so if by the end of these two or three months you see that your automation your smart trading and your hodl strategies all together uh they bring you money okay then then you can now start trading with your real money and we have these old tools for you guys no no need to rush just practice once you're satisfied with your results once you are confident enough in your skills then is the time for you to jump into the real trading okay that's like the biggest problem of the retail trading market is that usually people hear about the crypto the first time they rush into this market they saw they start buying like crazy they do not utilize these strategies they do not stress test strategies they do not experiment they do not practice the proper way in the demo mode in my opinion that's like the best practice you can have uh, in terms of risk to return so yeah it takes time so be patient uh have have your own dedication set your plan and stick with it okay so no need to be greedy you won't make all the money from the market like you won't get all the money from the market i mean but y your goal is to make sure that you have your own strategy and that you're satisfied with its monthly results okay i would say that making 20 percent per month that's that's a lot of money okay and uh, you can see that I actually have some strategies that uh, bring this 20% per month. Okay, so guys, it's up to you, really. And we are here at BeatScap just to kind of uh, give you all these tools for your disposal so that you could have different strategies, uh, so that you could have this sandbox to practice for free. And once you're satisfied with the results, you can start trading with your real money and make decent returns. So, yep, pretty much that, that's the answer of how to always stay on the market. So it's, it's really just about the diversification and, and the market timing and patience, okay? It might sound simple, but it's not. It really takes time. So if you expected from this webcast some kind of a golden strategy, a golden mind strategy, which I can explain to you in two minutes, then, well, don't be naive. It doesn't work like that, okay? Uh, it's just that you need to be really dedicated and patient and practice with different strategies. And you can grab my strategy if you like it you can test it if it works for you then great uh, stick with it okay or make some adjustments make some tweaks and if you find a better solution you can share with the rest of the community you can share it with me and i can present it here on on the webcast okay i mean you can do you can do this you can share your results in the comment sections you, you can share your screenshots of your active bots um in the telegram community we even have some really active users that create youtube videos and share their live results and blah 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 i mean that's cool that's that's really cool and the features that we implement like the trading down uh trading up um some other visual effects as well well that's thanks to the community to some extent because you guys speak up you share your things you want to see on beatscap we'll we listen to you and we make sure that we implement uh, the best practices proposed from the community okay <clears throat> please explain smart trade sell once more which one uh we have limit sell 
we have market sell which is like you just click on sell and it instantly sells and you have this stop limit sell so for example let's say look i have bitcoin uh that's that's the amount that i have and let's say i only want to sell it once the certain condition is met let's say where is bitcoin bitcoin usdt <clears throat> So let's say I'm not satisfied at selling it at the current price of $47. Let's say I want my uh, smart trade to place a limit buy, or sorry, a limit sell order at let's say 55,000 if the price breaks 51,000. Okay? So the condition here is to breach the 51k price boom once it breaks it it will plot uh it, sorry it will place a limit sell order at the price of 55k so if that answers to your question then that's great ah okay oh, you mean for the bot to add some extra strategies like i want bot to not sell if stochastic is oversold oh yeah well um i actually cannot share this kind of insights with you but i can tell you that we've been thinking about this kind of uh indicator based things so that you could create more strategies on your own so i am not here to tell you more about it but i can tell you that that's something that we've been discussing so yeah and you can guess what i mean by that <clears throat> So yeah, um, Jasper Parker is saying that in all seriousness, the one thing lacking in an otherwise amazing platform I'm happily playing, paying for is something of a breakdown where it shows our progress for the monthly or weekly across all bots. So let's go back to bots real quick. So as of now, what we have is the sum bot profit and you can see the percentage here. And also the sum total PNL. I agree with you that since that's the that's kind of a fluctuating parameter, and you don't have here any static results. Like let's say you can't see what was the result of your sum bot profit yesterday or let's say a week ago, but we are working on that. I mean, look at what we've done here so far. You, you I mean, compared with what we had a month ago. It gives you more insights. Now you can compare your bot strategy with a simple hodl strategy. Okay, you see my SNX strategy for the bot, it plays off. I mean, it, it, it already made me $4. If I would just hodl, I would be in the minus $12. Okay, so that's the things you can look at. You can see the daily profit and all of that. But I understand you want to have this overall metrics compared. And that's something we are working on right now. Because that's something I on my own want to see as well. I like this metrics a lot. I mean, I really need to compare my results. But it's kind of a tricky thing because let's say you close the bot and when you close the bot, it will automatically deduct the value from the bot profit and the sum total PNL because since you close this strategy, it now goes to spot history and that's a different story. So we really need to sort all these things out to make sure that you uh, get a relevant relevant data on a weekly and monthly basis like this kind of benchmarks analyzed um, as of the combo bot uh, binance is right now the only thing but let's see we might have added something today i guess if not then Nah, okay, so we are working on that as well. So don't think that Binance Futures is the only one you will have for the combo bot. Yes, right now combo bot available on the Binance. Yeah, as of the mobile, there might be some uh, confusion, but usually this whole thing can be quickly updated so whenever you see that something is missing you can report that 
but most likely we we saw these uh, problems already if if something is not displayed then most likely we've seen it so we that means we are working on that right now but in any case don't hesitate always report any kind of uh, bugs or errors you m might encounter when using mobile or desktop beats cap okay so if when the quote currency is bdc is there a way to see the results in usd rather than bdc um well i don't have any strategy trading to bdc but for example let's look here and you can see results in snx so you can see the the profit in snx that way i can change it back to usdt and i can see this return uh, in terms of snx as well okay so it shows you now in snx um i don't have right now any strategy trading to bitcoin but actually let's do it let's go to demo and let's say let's say i want to trade easy no actually that's that's a bad one mm. let's say ada to bitcoin i'm also not a fan of cardano because i think it's an overvalued startup and they are having this fake activity blah 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 but anyway mm, that's not the case let's just check the strategy uh well, yep wherever let's go i hope i'm using demo mode yes i'm in the demo mode let's go so you see you can see the results in bitcoin if you switch to bitcoin you can also see in the usd so even though there are only two currencies involved that's the base one ADA and the quote one BTC. You can still see results, final results in Bitcoin, in Cardano, and even in USD. Okay, so you can do this. No, no hating on ADA. It's just uh, that I'm I'm not convinced with the whole story they are selling to the market. Yeah, it's 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 always called minded think when it comes to the research so nothing personal to cardano whatsoever um, yeah for example uh, if i had snx trading to bitcoin the same way as for cardano trading to bitcoin i could see results in usd okay and also by the way here's the thing that we also made if you haven't seen it yet so let's say you your native currency is mm, I don't know Japanese yen. And now you can see the value your the value of your investments in the Japanese yen results in the Japanese yen. So it's here, you see, even values in the JPY. If that's something you want to have, okay? Um also your balance in uh, oh, I'm a millionaire in in Japan. Interesting so the same way you can do with the russian rubles for example you see it changes the value portfolio blah 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 so you can play with this as you want yeah well as of the dca bots um if you learned about the combo bot then you know that uh, 50 percent of the logic of the combo bot is based on the dca orders and uh, and also yeah well since we are implementing this dca order solutions then that's something you will see uh, in future bots as well so that's the solution we are working on right now um i mean you see dca or grid orders it's it's a simple technology but the uniqueness here and the value proposition that we bring with Bitscap here is the way we use this uh, grids and DCAs in investment distribution so what is the investment distribution logic that we put into these DCAs and grids that's the the know-how and the value proposition here and uh, in addition to this trading up trading down tools you can you can come up with different uh, bots so that's the aim of beats uh, to make sure that we bring you the ultimate um, like technological solutions okay not just blindly releasing dca bot okay but we want to make sure that this 
DCA bot has a unique investment distribution logic and some other maybe additional features to make sure you guys make the most out of the market regardless of your uh, experience okay we want to make sure that if you are a newbie uh, then still you can use all these strategies and it's going to be easy peasy for you so that's the ultimate solution make it easy peasy understandable and at the same time profitable <clears throat> Yeah, and same for the trading down. Well, as of now, trading down, it just takes extra money from your available balance. I think I have it now for um, for DOT. I think for DOT, I have my trading down. Oh, no, I don't have it. Ah, yeah, that's for ALGO. That's for ALGO. I have it for ALGO. So, thanks to the trading down, uh, it's been buying this whole area here. Okay. So without this trading down, my trading range was around this area before. But with the trading down, I decided that we can... F well, it looks like we're falling to that point. So I decided to use the trading down. Thanks to the trading down, I bought some extra algo. And now I expect the price to rally back. And that way I will capitalize uh, enough. So with the trading down, it just uses your extra balance to fulfill more buy orders. But uh, we will most likely have different variations of trailing down so that you won't see the the bot cancelling out these uh, high, higher sell orders. Right now it cancels one order to plot another buy below. That's because the limit of uh, limit orders on Binance is 180. So that's why we, we need to cancel out some orders. Well, that's the current solution for the trading down. Anyway, you can watch previous webcasts to learn more about um, some different kind of strategies and you can follow my performance since then and how I've been reacting to changing market conditions. Uh, you can also read BeatScap blog. And in BeatScap blog, you can find lots of valuable information like uh, different strategies um some kind of things you can use like affiliate competition blah 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 um explanation of the combo bot if you haven't tried the combo bot then you can use this article to learn about it and also some insights like okay uh different ready-made strategies for your automated bots that's something that i came up with you see even my name here uh yeah Lots of things. Uh, just check it out. It's, it's a good one, I promise you. I've been working on that together with the team for quite a long time. So yeah, it's, it's, it's worth it. Also, you can go to the YouTube and see some short-term videos. And also, you can uh, go to our Telegram community and, and <laughs> you can exchange ideas. You can uh, discuss things with other guys trading on Beatscap. Or managing their portfolios they can share their insights uh, so yeah do it it's, it's it's great lots of venues to explore lots of things to to learn and lots of opportunities out there to explore and uh, experiment with okay so yeah that's it for today I really appreciate for your time for your patience um, if you feel like you want me to answer some questions you will come up with later after this webcast then feel free to leave them in the comment section below or ask them in here directly support chart or in telegram big shout out to paul who've been with me this whole time supporting me on this webcast and answering to your questions so yeah big shout out to paul and yeah thanks a lot uh wish you profitable trading stay safe uh spend time with your family don't forget about it and yeah hope to see you next thursday <laughs>